Hi, I'm Bert Sheffield and I'm a Canadian para dressage rider sponsored by Top Spec. This is my horse Wonky, who is my hope for the Canadian team for the Tokyo Paralympics. Her real name is Farisa, but we call her her Wonky horse. Today I'm going to talk about how we train the walk, which is so important for a para horse, but also equally applicable to able-bodied dressage. Okay, so the first thing is when we first start working the horse, we want to have a long neck. We don't want to be bringing the horse into a short, tight, on the bit position, and I don't want to be pushing the horse too forward. I want to have as long a neck as I can achieve while keeping the horse still under control, because I want to keep the back loose and to help the horse relax because relaxation is absolutely critical to a good walk. Ideally, for most of the exercises, we use a half long neck and we don't walk on the bit unless the horse is on a curved line. Walking in a straight line with the horse on the bit really invites the horse to tighten their back and become irregular in the steps. The most important thing when riding the walk is the rhythm and the regularity. So first of all, we work on the rhythm and the regularity without too much power. Good girl. I'm not worried about the activity or the overtrack at this point. I want to slow the horse down and make the horse step in the correct sequence. Good girl. So she starts to lift her back. Now I used turning on slightly tighter lines to help her. I've got my half long neck where I let her relax and drop her neck. And I keep my hands moving with her. She gets a little bit tighter as she finds it more difficult. Good girl. Make sure the rhythm is absolutely pure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With no lateral one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like a camel. So while we help her find her regularity in that, that slower tempo, so the rhythm becomes really regular and she finds her balance, so she's not rushing. Then the back will start to relax more. It's a long-term project to develop activity in the walk. We'll get it once we've got a really secure rhythm and a really supple and relaxed back. Then we can add that power that gives us that lovely marching that we're all looking for. That was the first part of our walk series. We just focused on the developing the regularity and in the next part we'll be looking at lateral work to increase that suppleness and the, the power even more. Mm -hmm.